Gen Z. And we're gonna find out if Gen Z knows some iconic 90s anime. Would you say you are big anime fans? Very big. I'd say so. I'm a straw hat pirate. I just Not say really. yes because I like Attack on Titan and that seems to be the most popular thing out there. That's fair. Well, have I got news for you. I have seen one season of Attack on Titan and that is all. I will be the bearer of basic facts. I've done like research into all these anime, but if you know any of these shows like or movies, feel free to tell me what you know. I'd love to learn from you. Inuyasha, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Evangelion. Hey, I'm in a very niche kind of Anime. Okay, what which other? Yeah, what's the niche? I got Food Wars under my belt. Okay. Tenchi Muyo Universe is my all time favorite. Interesting. I love the fit. Weird, it's my guilty pleasure. Look! See, I thought Inuyasha was a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of that name before, Inusha. Roll by the fire rat, huh? Oh no! <laughs> there he is! I love the style of, like, cartoons. He's kinda hot. I haven't seen the show in so long. <laughs> Dang! This is some hardcore <laughs> roasting. Bro. Right in front of her. Dang! Oh, he spit at him. Ooh! Not the slow mo. Love the slow mo. She goes stop. This is when they fall in love. Please. Look at him. Look at his <laughs> eyes. Look at her. Wow. I'm so confused. Me too. Like. <laughs> Inuyasha was one of those that, like, growing up, I remember, like, on on Cartoon Network. At like nights, they would show anime episodes, and I remember like watching episodes of Inuyasha, like not knowing what was going on. Do you know the plot, Mandisa? No, but judging from that, maybe love and fight. I think that is what happens. Really? Yes, love and fights generally. <laughs> so basically, the whole plot is that that girl Kagame, she uh, goes down a well, uh, like a ceremonial well, um, and she falls into this like upside down world where she meets Inuyasha, who is um, half demon. They like evil spirits or other demons that Inuyasha is like trying to fight and kill, and then Kagame is like just kind of going on this adventure with him. Honestly, this is like my turn brain off just watching mm. the background anime, but it's also like the first anime that my dad made me watch. Oh, I know. So I watched cute. it when I was really young. To be fair, it looked like she's gonna marry one of them. That's why I'm more invested it's in a, it. It's like a love like triangle. Uh, yeah. yeah! Would you watch this though? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. In a heartbeat? Mm-hmm. In a heartbeat. I'm, I'm a, a rom-com girly, yeah. okay? So I, I, I like a little love, you know? I'm gonna put like a little less than Evangelion. I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna stick with that one. Okay. I giant robot it. fighting giant monster. <laughs> that cloak must have been like en enchanted or something. Oh, never oh, mind. No, never that mind. Cloak, oh, that's his hand. Yeah. Ooh, oh, okay. yeah, this, this is, is something. This is an English dub, huh? <laughs> whoa, oh, 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 so easily anymore. Finish him! Guys, we got him! Not we got his hand! Him. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> no. This is so sick. He said, what you say? Like, Finish me? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? OVA. The dub is actually not that bad. I think it's pretty yeah. voice acted. I mean, Ooh, I think it's solid. That one handed. handed swipe. Yeah. Oh. Dude, what is this? I don't know, this is really dope though. This isn't worth risking my life. They used to show God. this on TV? It's so good. Dude, you know what would be bad is if he like takes that arrow and like stabs somebody with it. That'd be cold. Open I hope, I hope, I hope that. he does that. Oh. And then they ruined it this with like time for thinking. uh like 2016 Berserk or something? Sword. Or it's like yeah, 3D up. animation. Nothing more. Okay. Oh man. A little piece from the manga. Wow. Wow. That guy's a G. Yeah. He's freaking cool. This is called Berserk. Berserk! Berserk, yes. I should have known that. I've seen, that's why. I've seen, a lot of people read Berserk. Anime keeps trying to do 3D now. Sometimes know. it looks good. Like, Beastars <laughs> pulled it off well. Um, 
the new Trigun. <gasps> Trigun is gonna be in this. Oh my god, Trigun! Oh my god. I'm familiar with it. I've seen episodes here and there. I haven't watched it all the way through. I just know it's like iconic for being one of the most like brutal, especially the manga. It's about Guts, who's that guy with the big sword. He's the best warrior in a mercenary group called Band of the Hawk, and it follows his interactions with the group. He eventually leaves them, he duels the leader of the group, and he's also on a mission to destroy the giant warrior, Immortal Zod. Guts is this just badass of a character, doesn't give a f about anything. This is too warrior for me. Like, I can't yeah, really. It's a little rustic. Yes. Yeah. What do you think? Would you guys watch this one? I watch it. I sure. tap it, yeah. 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 I like that's it. That, that looks sick. Oh, berserk! <laughs> no. I mean, I'm pretty sure in that clip, I literally heard them say, a big sword, my big sword. Mm -hmm. We get it, you got a big sword. Got it. It's one of those, like, one in a million manga that is, like, ins absolutely insane to read. No, it's definitely like Space Dandy. Is it Initial D? It is. <laughs> Let's go. Someone get the Vanga Boys in God. here. No, this is like Cowboy Bebop. Is he Bebop. wearing New Balances? The Initial D sound songs go so hard. Okay, the drifting. This My so friend familiar. knows this one. Is the anime one? intros, though. They animated. New balances, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and here's the second clip, which is a, a short little moment from the, the show. <laughs> no, not the, not the gas, gas, gas. Tell me why they literally did this in Steven Universe! <laughs> it's like Dance Dance Revolution. Amazing, amazing show. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna step on the gas! Not Fast and Furious. Gas, 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 I'm gonna step on the gas tonight. What is this show, Need for Speed or something? <laughs> Pretty much, uh, it's called Initial D. I love, uh, especially in the 90s, they, I love the, the, the way the cars are shaped. Have either of you watched it? No. I've only ever seen clips. You're just aware, yep. Yeah. It follows Takumi, who wants to become a street racer with his friend Itsuki. After he proves himself with several races, he joins a racing team called Project D and takes on rival racing teams throughout the series. You can't go wrong with just drifting in Euro V. It's just- Exactly. They just... That is kind of true. They definitely nailed that theme song. That is a bop. I would play that in the gym. The best one is Deja. Deja Vu. I just been in this place. Back when I was on Tumblr, I'd be re-blogging. Re <laughs> re-blogging, like, stuff like that, that aesthetic and that That's vibe. Funny. I feel like, because the first, like, racing drift scene in Tokyo Drift, there's, like, the parking garage, but then they go to the mountain, like, where they drift down it. Like, surely, I've always thought that, like, maybe it's inspired by Initial D, because this is, like, the iconic racing show. React now has a podcast. Say what? Join us every week on the new channel, ReactCast. This is where Joe, Nicole, and some of your favorite guest reactors we sit down, we chill, we talk about TV, movies, video games, and just life itself. So head on over there now and subscribe to listen to all of our wild and crazy shenanigans. Your calculations. Did they predict that Goku would be a Super Saiyan? Super, super Saiyan? Saiyan? Hey, it's me, Goku! Oh, oh. DBZ! It's Dragon Ball okay. Z. Yeah! Ah! Destroy! Look at his grunts. Oh like, yeah. This is that episode. This is what like right? introduced me to anime. <laughs> Peak. Is he about to go Super Saiyan? Oh, he did. He's okay. going Super Saiyan. I love how nonchalant they are. They're, They're just like, like yeah. wow, it was bad to happen, you know. <laughs> he surpassed us. It's cool. We're done. I never understood this part. I thought they were two. Like, who are they? I thought they were all the same person. Can you imagine what they do in the voiceover booth? That's dad. Yeah, that's your daddy. Go get him. Leaving you. Hell yeah. For my band, I'm playing uh, one of the one of the openings for Dragon Ball. Oh, that's sick. But I, I love this. I love the concept. Crazy how long these scenes are. For real. And it's like the same with Naruto. Like you'll just have a, a minute long scene of just them standing there looking like ready to fight. It's one of those shows that is even no matter what, even if you don't like anime, it is the anime. It inspired so many creative people. I feel like it was one of the first animes to go like really mainstream. Like really, really mainstream just like in the West. So I only know the plot because I love Sonic the Hedgehog so much and the video games kind of followed the, the plot of Dragon Ball. How many episodes are there of this show? Do you guys know? A billion. 198. I feel like it's it's at least like 200. 291 episodes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Goku, his friends, and his son Gohan uh, are saving the Earth from alien enemies, including 
fellow Saiyan Vegeta and an Android Cell. Main antagonist for like the first couple uh, seasons is Vegeta. Vegeta being like the, the king of all Saiyans. The, uh, he has his own planet, Planet Vegeta. He has a whole family and bro just be, I'm a fight. And then he, if he loses, he dies. But it's like, when is he gonna come back? He got a whole family. Oh, start start the DDR. Up, up, I love down, 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 Spanish left, too, right, like left, the right, bah, bah. I can find Spanish style. I love it, nah. It's really good. You should watch. Here's the second clip. Oh, I know this guy. He about to jack you up. Cause it, this is like a psychological mo like yeah, movie. Yeah, it's Hell like a dark yeah. psychological thriller. Why does this look familiar though? Ooh, <gasps> in his eyes. What eye. the heck? Hell yeah! I mean, <laughs> oh damn! Oh my! God. Not the peen. This oh. is how they was getting oh. down in the nineties, man. Julian. I cannot imagine. Oh, oh my gosh! I think you got him, dude. On that. Oh! He got him again? Bro, right through the phone. Wow. God, just the lighting. So well done. I'm thrown off because you said this was gory, and then they're like this, so this must be like a Hunger Games esque kind of like. Ooh, there's situation. definitely a total switch. Yeah. This is called Perfect Blue. It is a, a thriller, a dark sort of psychological thriller from 1997. All I know is that it's about a stalker and then an idol, and that's that's all yeah, I know. Yeah, the idol quits her singing career and to pursue acting. acting. She has a stalker that won't leave her alone. She discovers there's a website where diary entries are written in great detail from her perspective, but she's not the one writing it, so someone knows all these details about her life. Ah. And then people in relation to her acting career start becoming murdered. So you kind of have to figure out what happens, and I hear there's a, a big twist at the end as well. Huh. I like that. Nope. It's definitely top 10 anime movies for me personally. Nice. That sounds like something I would watch. Juicy. Yeah, like live action. If there was like a live action like Netflix show that had that premise, I'd be all in on that. You gotta watch it, Jackson. I definitely do. It's really good. Because Satoshi really Khan is like, everything that he creates is like super great in one way or another. It's insane. Like, it's just like hit after hit after hit with yeah. the stuff that he makes. Yeah. yeah. This is interesting. Like, they just spiced up my life. Yeah. I'm down and watch this for sure. Oh, you're back. You're sure late getting home today. Uh, yeah. <gasps> yeah! I'm a big fan of Tuxedo Mask's look, you know? Yeah. He's really cool. I still haven't been able to see this yet. Everyone always says it's amazing. I don't know the story, but I know the outfit. It looks super cute. That's why I want to see it. Mm-hmm. The style. You know, it reminds me of Totally Spies. I know that, that it came after, mm -hmm. but that's what I love about this. I just love a girl, a girl. situation. Being a girl. This is like the Wait, game so is she like a superhero or like... She's like a superhero school girl, I'm assuming. Yeah. That's what it is? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> just the jump cut. Oh. oh. That's right, that's right. Oh. Beat her up, oh. beat her up. Run, run. run. Sheesh. That's not how you parent a teenage mm -hmm. girl. Hey, you're in the way. <laughs> so what huge mistake did mom kick you out for this time? I sure wish I had a. I wonder if Madoka Magica is like '90s. No, that's like oh, 2000s. Like that. <laughs> that's it. Save our bacon! Ooh. <laughs> but you guys have never seen it. She has. I have not. No, I've actually never watched. What? So this is like super popular. What do you think is behind that? Because they're probably a pioneers mm. in like the terms of yeah, anime going. That. Because all I know from Sailor Moon is from other things. It's like cultural references that gotcha. have been made. Like they're just so it's so expressive and colorful and and fun. And the music is really good. And it goes on for a while. The universe yeah. extends. It is about a 14-year-old girl named Usagi who meets a magical talking cat named Luna, and then Luna gives her the ability to turn into a like magical like heroine called Sailor Moon. Uh, Sailor Moon is iconic in its own, right? Like exactly yeah. expanding the magical girl genre in general. Made like it, that like, cutesy super like popular. yeah. It seems like the style is pretty chibi, kind of like yeah. style, kind of like yep. over exaggerated round feature. I feel like this is where Gen Z got all their little emotes from. That uh, this little schoolgirl mm -hmm. that is like able to like fight. You know, yeah. absolutely. So yeah. from that, there has to be something there that just appeals to mass audiences, mm -hmm. not just in Japan and this time, but like even now across the world. Marco, thank you. Always come to me. 
Marco Rosso? Close. Porco Rosso. There it is. <laughs> I already like the graphics though. Mm -hmm. I love that shadow. You see that shadow? They didn't have to add that. Oh, oh it's French? I've heard. Or Italian. And when I was like binge watching a bunch of like Ghibli Studio movies, Ghibli, this was yeah. on there and I never watched it. You should. It's actually, I feel like it slept on a lot. It's pretty good. You know, low key, I feel like this is the kind of movie you would cry at the end or something. Right? Like that. It looks sad. It yeah. does. Interesting. Dude, did you watch the new Studio Ghibli? No, bro, the Boy in the Heron? No, Boy I have Heron. not. Did you see the the voices for that? No. Stacked cat. Oh, yeah, where it has, um, what's. Stacked. A pig's gotta fly. Damn. When pigs fly, when pigs well, fly. yes. <laughs> This is kind of like a Penelope situation. God was telling you it wasn't your time yet. You think? Seems to me he was telling me I was a pig and maybe I deserve to be all alone. You can't believe that. You're a good person. I, I watched the, the, no, the Ghibli the movies the when I first started getting into anime, so I only watched them dubbed. Yeah, really? Yeah. It's so different. Same thing. <laughs> Good. It's not bad. It's just very different. It's I, very. It's good because it's produced by Disney, so they have yeah. like like stacked cast. So did you guys catch the name? It is Porco Rosso. Oh Rosso. Okay. And it's directed by Miyazaki. Really? Oh. Okay. It seems like he just has like such a deep story arc in there. Like in even the way it's shot, there's like they have like very dramatic dialogue, and it's less like super um, expressive, but it's just super real. And I kind of feel like I would get pulled into the story. It follows the titular character. His name is Porco Rosso, and he used to be an Italian World War One pilot. He switched his profession up. He's now a freelance bounty hunter, and he's nice. under a mysterious nice. curse, uh, and he's an anthropomorphic pig now. There's something missing. You said like, by the way, guy, he's a he used to be a World War One pilot. You know, now he's a bounty hunter. I'm like, okay, that's a story I can get behind. By the way, he's also a pig. I, all I remember is I he, there's like a scene where he eats spaghetti, and that just really stuck out to me. Well, that makes sense. He's Italian. I love action anime because I don't want to cry, but and also it throws me off that he's a pig. <laughs> And I'm crying over a pig. Uh, would you guys go and watch this later? I would. I want to. Just because of Studio Ghibli, I've only seen Spirited Away. Like I've been Same. wanting to watch to other watch stuff. That. It's it's really good. It, like yeah. I'm gonna watch it only because I have so many questions. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Wait. What it's out with Cowboy Bebop. It's got a gun. Shoot that shot. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Shoot that shot. <laughs> moments but what a ravenous beast damn you're playing us the end this scene it looked insane though yeah wow that goes dummy that is stunning then why are you still alive and they butchered it with the lion action fighting in a church is so metal yeah. oh dang grab him by the face bro uh, Wow. Wow. School children singing right before someone dies. That's one thing I love, a really like terrible scene of death with just angelic music in the mm -hmm. background. That is it, an evil face. Oh, bro, this is so well done, what the heck? My brother has watched this and like he makes music so he like will have a lot of stuff inspired sometimes like, mm -hmm. especially anime That's stuff. Awesome. He made a whole album off of like JoJo's. Oh! <laughs> mm -hmm. It's set in 2071. It follows a bounty hunting crew, and they all live aboard a spaceship called the Bebop. Cowboy Bebop. Mm -hmm. Awesome! I, was gonna say, I knew he was like a bounty hunter, I just didn't know he was actually like a cowboy. That makes sense. That's a show that I've heard so much about that I've never watched, but I've just only heard good things. It's very much like, you can watch each uh, episode individually, and then towards the end it gets very like- They kind of tie a story together? Yeah, and oh, okay. it kind of ties together. His name is Spike, the main character, the guy who was falling down, and uh, it follows his rivalry with Vicious, who is his former friend and partner, and that was the guy he was fighting. Yeah, just space cowboys. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. Space cowboy bounty hunter-esque, like, yeah. can't, can't go, go wrong. wrong. Oh. Bro! I've never watched it, but I've always appreciated its art. Beautiful. Like, everything was, like, shot like a cinematic motion, like, a cinematic masterpiece. It's beautiful. Uh, one of the most critically acclaimed anime ever as well. Wow. Yeah. I can see, I can understand why. That yeah, what are your thoughts on what we just watched? watched? Very artistic, huh? Very artistic. What were your favorite ones? <laughs> and are there any that you really need to see? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just me. Uh, like
Cowboy Bebop's been one that I've come very close to watching, I because I just don't like, I don't watch a ton of anime these days, but like that's one that's always kind of been on my list of things that I want to watch. Well, out of all of the ones that we've watched so far, I still want to watch the blue. That one, that Yeah, one. that one's insane, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The girl, the, the singer who ended up getting her vengeance, that scene was just, she truly is is the definition of a boss. Hey, I know what you're thinking. Where is Neon Genesis Evangelion? I want to watch the reactors react to that. It's an iconic 90s anime. Well, guess what? Head over to our Instagram and you may be able to find that, plus maybe another show? Hint, hint, wink, wink. Instagram down in the description. Bye. Thanks for watching this episode. What's your favorite 90s anime? Let us know in the comments below. I love racing in general. I don't know anything about like Formula One, but I race in my car. <laughs> <laughs> you do? <laughs> you know, I'm going 55 on a 50. Well, the speed limit signs are only like a suggestion. That's what I'm saying. I always go five over, you know. Bye. Bye.